couple days since I've done something and recorded it. Um, so I'm super excited today. For the very first time, I'm making for my husband because it's his request and his birthday was just this week, uh, a pumpkin pie. So we're gonna make a homemade pumpkin pie and I'm gonna do it with you. Let's go. Okay, so first off, we're gonna make the crust because it has to sit in the fridge for 15 minutes to overnight. So we're just gonna do the 15 minutes. So what we're gonna do first for the crust is we're going to mix in a food processor um, flour, salt, and sugar with an S blade and pulse to combine. I don't have a food processor, so what I'm gonna use is just my um, mixer. So we're going to put in uh, one and a quarter cups of flour, half a teaspoon of sea salt, one tablespoon of sugar. Uh, so let's do that and then we'll mix it up. Okay, so now I've got in here all of the dry ingredients. We're gonna put this blade on my mixer and we're gonna test out how this makes <laughs> pie crust. So we're gonna turn that on, uh, let that mix up till it's good and mixed, and then we're going to add in half a cup of butter and I'm just gonna put it in in little pieces and then a quarter cup of cold water and we're gonna mix it until it resembles um, like a coarse meal um, and begins to stick together and when you pinch it, it's good, like it, you can pinch it and it holds together. Um, that means it's done. We're gonna take it out, put it in a ball Saran wrap it, put it in the fridge, and then wait 15 minutes. So let's add uh, the, the, the wet ingredients to the dry ones. So you can see it's starting to crumble together. I'm just going to turn it up a little bit. But it's starting to form and crumble together. So let's get it into a ball. Okay, so this is perfect. I'm going to put it onto some saran wrap, wrap it in a ball, and then we'll put it in the fridge and let it cool for 15 minutes. All right, so there we go. We've got our dough in a ball. I'm gonna put it in the fridge for 15 minutes um, at least, or if you're doing this in prep preparation to make a pie, say tomorrow, it can stay in the fridge overnight too. Um, but we're gonna do 15 minutes today. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and then we will continue on. Okay, so now we're going to do the filling. And what we're going to do is we're going to, um, in a large bowl, beat the eggs. So we're gonna need three eggs. And then after they're beat, we're gonna whisk in the pumpkin, cream, and vanilla extract. And for that, we're gonna need 15 ounces or two cups of pumpkin puree, one cup of cream, and one teaspoon of vanilla. So let's do that. Okay, so we have it all mixed in up here now. It's just about mixed. I'm gonna scrape the sides down in, and then we're going to add what else? Uh, the other ingredients that we need. So we've got that mixed up. Now we're going to add uh, three quarters cup of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of ground cinnamon, and two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. So let's add that in here and then we'll get going. So there we go. We're gonna let this mix up really good. And then we're going to put it all together and bake it. Okay, so actually, um, it's been a little bit longer. It's been about two hours that the dough's been in the fridge. And then the filling as well. I don't want to tip it too much. Um, I actually didn't keep track of time and we had to actually go to event, an event. So, I'm going to roll this dough out now. Um, I've lightly greased a pie plate here. So I've got that ready. I'm gonna roll out my dough into 
here, shape it as I want, and then we will be ready to pour the filling in and put it in the oven. So let's do it. Okay, so there we go. I've got it in my pie crust. I've cut all the extras off that obviously hung over and I've seen on videos where you can cut shapes like a shape of a leaf or a pumpkin and just set it on the pie and just bake them separately. So I might do that because there's quite a bit here. Um, but there we go. Now we're going to put the filling inside. So we're going to fill the crust with the filling. Okay, so the filling is in here. I'm going to cover it with saran, or not saran, sorry, tin foil. Um, it says to use a pastry shield, but I don't have one of those. <laughs> so I'm going to just cover it with tin foil, and then we're going to pop it in the oven on 425. Um, yeah, so 425 for 15 minutes, and then we're going to reduce the heat. Um, to 350 and cook for an additional 50 to 60 minutes. So let's cover it with some tin foil. All right, you guys, I just took it out. I took it out at 50 minutes. So it says um, until a knife inserted comes out clean, which I just moved it a bit, it comes out clean. It's literally still bubbling. Um, but now I have to let it sit for two hours. So um, I'm gonna let it sit for two hours. I'll turn it around so you can see it now that it's been out. But now we're gonna let it sit for two hours and then I'll show you what it looks like. So there you go. You can see that it's literally still boiling. It looks like bubbling around the edges. This is just because um, the tin foil stuck to there, but now that it cools, it's gonna look and probably be really, really good. All right, you guys, this pie turned out absolutely beautiful. It's been two hours, it's completely cool. I cooled it on this wire rack. So there you go. That is how you make this pumpkin pie. I'll link the recipe that I used in the description below. Um, and I'm so excited. I just kind of dab my finger on it and it tastes really good. So I'm just gonna wait until my husband puts the kids to bed and then see if he wants to take a, a piece out of here. Um, and uh, yeah, give it a try. Let me know how you guys think it is. Let me know your favorite pumpkin pie recipes. This is the first one I've ever made. So hopefully it's really good. Um, but yeah, let me know, know what you guys think if you do make this one. And as always, leave comments on tips and tricks for yourself that you've, you know, maybe you've used that you've made with a pumpkin pie before, So, because I can always learn too. Um, but thank you guys so much for following along. And as always, like this video, click that subscribe button, ring that bell so you never miss one. See you next time, guys. Bye.